Whew. Good morning. Huh. So we're going to try this vlogging thing again. When I say I want to go lay back down. I want to go lay back down. But we're getting ready to go to the gym. And get our day restarted. So. Here we go, y'all. Do it. Okay, y'all, we're back. And we're actually getting ready to go to the gym. I'm waiting on my car to warm up a little bit. And so that I'll talk to you a little bit while I <laughs> open my meal. I don't want nothing. These little pre-approved American Express things keep coming. And, uh, no. So, anyway. <clears throat> That's that. Um, what y'all working on this week? What y'all working on this morning? What y'all doing? So, my goal today. My goal today is to. After I work out, come home and work on my business for a little bit. Then I'm going to do a lunchtime door dash. Then I'm going to come back and finish up anything I didn't finish as far as like videos or academy work things like that that I'm supposed to be doing for my business. Uh, so this is the question of the day. What are we praying for? Right? I'm write this down because I'm one of those people that start talking and then I go all the way to the seat. <laughs> what are we believing for and I'm asking this question for a reason I mean if you got any prayer requests or anything you could drop it down below if you don't and it's silent I'll be praying anyway for anybody who's watching this video Lord bless them in Jesus name but know this we got this scripture y'all that we have to follow to the T and it says that faith without works is dead, right? Um, I am an educator. And on top of being an educator, <clears throat> I educate in different facets. I love music. And I love to teach differentiated instruction through real music. Everybody learns different, right? I don't know about you, but I'm a kinesthetic learner. And... <clears throat> I'm also a visual learner and mostly though to be honest the bulk of it where my zone of genius is is audio so I'm an audio learner you can tell me something and if it's something I know I'm supposed to retain and I feel like okay it's a lot to take in because of the way it was presented I'll take it and flip it. Maybe put a rhyme or two in it. And I'll return the information anyway. I'll retain, I'm sorry. I'll return. Return, retain, return. <laughs> I will retain the information in my brain that way. Right. So, what I'm doing now as I build my business is I'll not only be working with individuals but i'll be working with organizations and doing professional development if you're really serious i've been teaching for 19 years 19 19 years and <clears throat> what i can say about teaching is that i have learned so much i have grown so much 
I have met so many amazing people, students, teachers, everything. And when it's time to go, God has a way of telling you it's time. It is time. Like, I thought that I was gonna break up with the classroom. I'm thinking, oh, God, I literally, I wish I could show y'all. I don't even know where it's at. I had a notebook. If I can find it later, I'll show it to you. And it literally said, you know what? Let me go get it right now. I think I know where it is. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So for a while, and I'm gonna get back into it, I was going to therapy and I had this book. She kind of suggested that I do, um, you know, as I journal, that I can doodle in my journal because I like drawing in my journal too, you know stuff like this right just me i'm an artsy type of person and um trying to see if i can find it y'all i i had on here and i don't even know what date i put it in this journal you guys <laughs> i put Hold on. I'm sorry I'm taking so long. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is probably the worst thing about vlogs. Sometimes you still gotta get to your point, right? I don't even remember what day I wrote this. So it had to be around November of last year. Anyway, <laughs> I started this page. So in my head, I was going to build a whole little strategy to get out of the classroom. And honey, they just didn't remove my contract after five years. So do you cry? Yes, you cry. Do you stay there? You can't stay there. Right? Your situation might be different. You may be in the middle of your exit strategy. Well, I'm going to show y'all what I'm doing today. <laughs> wow. I'm strategizing after my exit. But I don't know if it, well, I exited, yeah. But I put out. I, I didn't do it on my own. And there was no reason. My administrator said she didn't even know what happened. My supervisor had already signed me up for training for the following year that were paid for. So it was just kind of snatched. Keep in mind this happened after I got my certification for pre-K through third and K through five for the state of Michigan. And I'm talking about only Two and a half months after I got my my um recent certification. So when I went to ask, I might put I might insert the email here. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay. But the email really pretty much stated that mm, we don't need to you know answer. We just don't fit our needs no more. Right? So you hear the garbage truck right now. And I think it's time for us to get up and go ahead and go to the gym. We'll talk more about it later, but just know your girl is okay because what God takes, He replaces with something bigger. Let's go hit this gym. Hey y'all, so it's gonna be a little voiceover because it was really loud in the gym. Right there, I put three 45 pound plates and pushed them 
across the turf. And then you'll see that I added more as I went along. I actually tried to talk throughout the video, but as I went back to do the editing, it was so much noise. So then I right there, I think I added another one, an extra one. I ended up going until about six. So I had 645 plates and then I had 135 pound kettlebell on there all together. So it's a little sped up, but that's what I'm trying to show you. Next time, I think what I'll do if I'm going to talk is make sure I don't have my headphones on. But the gym is really loud anyway, so it might still be hard to hear me. So here, this 300. So we got 45s, right? And then the back, I don't think I don't think you can see it. It's a little kettlebell back there. That's 30, taking it all to 300 pounds. Plus I had it on the highest setting, just to challenge myself to see if I could do it. Sometimes I try stuff just to see if I could make it through it or not, <laughs> which I think is a good practice. But anyway, y'all, sorry about the voiceover again like i said it was extremely loud in the gym and it sounded like i was muffled or wasn't talking at all so i had to do this voiceover Okay, friends, so y'all girl. Hey. My apologies. I forgot to end the vlog appropriately. And I will get better at it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.